How are you, babe? I'm good. I'm Rita. How are you? Nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you as well. The tattoo today I'm getting is Don Bag Daryl from the band Pantera, and Kat Von D is doing it. Cool. I brought a picture, I will, a little drawing of it. I'm a big Pantera fan, and I was a big Dimebag fan, and that was, uh, you know, her old man before he passed away. These are like some little clearer shots of him. The first time I met Daryl, we were about eight years old. We grew up in the same neighborhood, and uh, we lived together almost 20 years. Another thing, too. Um... Oh, you ordered with that lettering, right? Drink it or wear it. Yep. Drink it. Wear it. And he meant it. If you didn't drink it, he threw it on you. <laughs> <laughs> Make yourself at home. I'm going to draw it out. Probably going to be like five, ten minutes. Do you want anything to drink? I'll take some water. Yeah, okay, great. cool. I'll, I'll get a little hydrated for yeah. you. Start <laughs> drilling on me. <laughs> Rita. Oh, Dimebag was the lead guitarist for Pantera. And until he died, they were lifelong companions. They were soulmates. I think it would be appropriate for him to be in the photos. That's the reason why kids come and ask me, and I want him right here on my forearm in every photo. Check that out. Bad. Cool. Yeah. Cool, <laughs> awesome. Here you go. How did you and Dan meet? He was just that kid growing up that you just wanted to protect and wanted to be friends with. He was just fun then, you know? Yeah. He was my best friend, companion, the whole lover business bit, the everything, you know? You've been planning this out for a long time? You know, I wanted to get it done probably since, you know, day one when everything happened. It was December 8th, 2004. We're in Columbus, Ohio. They were playing a little club called the Alarosa. I want to say 30 to 40 seconds into their first song, this guy jumped up on stage and shot Daryl five times in the back of the head. It was instant. But then it just, uh, everything just went all chaos. The guy just kept firing round after round. He shot and killed our security guy, Mayhem. He shot Chris Paluska uh, in the chest. He was still dragging Cat, our drum tech, around and was gonna shoot him again. And that's when uh, the officer fired one shot. It killed him instantly. The one good thing, it was just all the stories that were shared and the laughs and that stuff at such a horrible time. It, it got you through. I mean, everybody has a great Dom story, yeah. you know, to tell. I miss waking up, having somebody to tell what I dreamed. It's the first thing he'd always ask. Um, His smile. Um, I don't know, just hearing his voice, I guess. Every dime bag tattoo that I've done, it's like, you know, they always have like a story like, yeah, I met him once and he was so amazing to me, and now it's like I'm playing with your guitar. And now, you know, and it's, it's just like, it's so influential. Cool, you know? Yeah. Just, sure. just the few seconds that I know when people come up and tell me, you wanna hear my dime story? And just the look in their eyes, and they all light up, and it's like, yeah, I do. People say with time that it gets better, but I don't think it does. It just gives you more time to thaw out. If I don't stay busy enough, then that gives me time also to remember what I lost. So you ready to check it out? Let's go. Yeah. Dude, it's <laughs> it looks so cool. Ah, yeah. oh, he looks great. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. Love it. Let's Thank you. Up. It's going to put a big smile on my face. I know, all, every time I, I look at it. She even got the part where he's holding his hand. What that is, is he always holds his picks right there whenever he's not playing. I mean, she was so detailed on it. It's, it's great. And he's like right there, and you try and give him a kiss, and it's a good feeling.